Hi, this is Matt Kendall once again. Um, I'm an IMT practitioner and trainer. And today we're talking to Kate May. Kate did her training in, was it January or February? It's this year, wasn't it, I believe? Oh, end of January. End yeah. of January. And it's now March the, I know it's March the 23rd because tomorrow's my birthday. So, oh, wow. <laughs> I know. So very, I haven't organised anything, I really should. Um, it's because it's Mother's Day as well this week, kind of overshadows it, which is a bit me. Okay, so Kate. I want to basically just know about your experience going through the training and what it's been like for yourself and obviously working with people. Before we get into that, can you please just tell me and everyone listening, what has been your background, uh, especially in terms to sort of therapy, coaching, that kind of stuff? Yeah. So, um, well, I'm currently uh, working with NLP, coaching, holistic counselling and, and hypnosis. And I wanted to originally do something to do with eye movement therapy and I looked at EMDR and then I found this Facebook group so um IEMT and I think that was that was your group Matt okay yeah so you're doing so you've done NLP and you said you did counseling and stuff as well yeah yeah so you've already you know trained counselor NLP yeah you want to do, the problem is with wanting to learn EMDR, especially if you want to do the EMDR IA certification. One, it takes a long time. It's very expensive and the requirements to doing it are very high generally. So yeah. the barrier to entry is with, with IEMT, it's like you can, you don't need to have any experience uh, to come and learn it. You know, it's just a weekend course as opposed to a I think EMDR, I think, is about one or two years, I think, it can sort of go on for. Yeah, um, I have so many qualifications. Yeah. I was looking at that and thinking, well, that's ridiculous. I, I don't, you know, I'm not a psychologist or yeah. whatever. So, um, so yes, uh, it's just by chance I came across your mm. website. But what is this? <laughs> Excellent. So... So you found out, you came into the group, and then did you come on any of the webinars that I do or the talks or just interact? Yeah, no, I, I came on a webinar and I went through the videos that you had on there, looked on YouTube as well, because there's a hell of a lot of information on there, which is really good, actually, yeah. which sort of made my mind up that that was something that I wanted to do. Banging. So you decided you did some research, which I always say to people, do your research because, you know, it's a weekend of your time and it's like it's not loads of money, but it's still a good chunk of money to do the weekend training. And you have to be sort of focused and everything. Mm. So what did you think about the training itself? Uh, basically, in terms of I'll throw a lot of questions at you, the stuff that you got beforehand, the actual training structure, yeah. doing the activities, doing the exercises um and then basically the aftercare support as well so basically let's go through it from the beginning so what did you think about going through it yeah from the start um i love the way i contacted you on messenger you got straight back to me um i had an option to pay in installments or pay up front so that was a great thing as well you know especially if, if um you don't have a lot of money to start off with yeah. um, and then there was um, the email information that you sent through and before the course, which I, I like. Send out all that information, you know, the, the um, oh, I can't get the word out there. Yeah, you didn't send the manual out weeks before. We got it, you know, sort of quite close to the weekend that we were mm. doing the training, which was great because it, it gave me that, right, now I'm focusing solely on this course now um the great thing about the course was that it is two days over a weekend um and it's you know then once you've done your case studies and everything it's done it's done and then you have supervision afterwards you can carry on getting support from you um in the group that you you do lots of other webinars as well um, there's so much information there so you're not sort of left on your own once it's all done and dusted yeah. and the yeah, fact no, that's that one thing oh i got a bit blocky yeah you know, that's one thing that i was really sort of sort of careful with and sort of focus on is that because i've done courses and once you've done the course it's actually like 
well, it feels like I'm just on my own again now. And so with uh, with this, I try, you know, obviously I'm, I'm blocked on Facebook at the moment, but there is obviously a community on there. I now do a monthly supervision session and practice session. You also connect on a WhatsApp group with all the people you went through the course with to stay in contact with, and they're often quite lively. Um, and yeah, I, I do. And I also, I offer if people want to do the course again to let them do it for half price as well, should they want to do, you know, for the extra practice and stuff. So, so with the course itself, I try to break it down and make it as modular and as easy to digest as possible. Uh, I know you've been on lots of other trainings and stuff as well. So how did you think that the actual course was set out and taught and the experience going through it? Uh, it was brilliant. Um, it, you got to know who you're on the course with, mm -hmm. you know, at the breaks that we needed. So it wasn't information overload. Um, we got uh, we were able to practice everything that you taught us. And if we were stuck, we could come back to you and then you discuss it with us all. So. Um, and you think to yourself, oh, nine till five, nine till six is going to be a really long day. But actually, it isn't. It's extremely interesting. You know, we're all working on stuff together. Um, yeah, it, it's good fun. Good fun. And you yeah. make all these friends, you know, and they yeah. become partners too. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, so you hadn't... You, although you'd done research into eye movement stuff, you am I right in thinking you hadn't actually had any experience in receiving or giving any eye movement stuff at all before the course yeah no experience whatsoever no so what was it then like to actually have IMT and actually give IMT to other people well um to, to well to receive it the first you know the first time mm. just like wow really right that there's, there's no content there's no we haven't discussed anything in depth mm. it's just there we go it's yeah. so uh, it's it's amazing um and then once you end up giving it to somebody else you know uh and there's they're coming out with the same sort of thing like oh my god they've got the same reaction as you did mm. and you're both sat there laughing because you just can't believe yeah. that takes such a short amount of time can give such great results and we're, we're talking sort of seconds yeah. In time. yeah literally the eye movements last for about 40 seconds in total you might do it a couple of times on different things but generally yeah. it's condensed down to, to 40 seconds yeah so after the course you go and do two case studies with two people and two sessions with each of those people so it's four sessions in total yeah um how did you find taking the tools the skills and the format and then into actually real life because you know what happens on a weekend is a slightly like, like contrived environment because it's uh, you know i'm hosting and everything but the important thing and the interesting thing is how you take this into the real world so what was it like taking all of this knowledge and skills and actually working with your own people who i didn't know who you didn't know how what was that process like yeah that was um that was amazing because obviously these people were, I, I changed the way that I worked in my session because I had to do these case studies, you know, and um, th there was, <laughs> the results were quick, as you know, as mm. you know, they were amazing. I found it easy to follow through because I've still got my manual. I've got the session flow guide. Um, and, you know, ha having done that training in, in a, over a weekend the Saturday and the Sunday um I find it's a better way to learn you know we mm. compact it down and it's all there so I found it really easy to go in and, and do that stuff and and great results again um mm. and I've, I think as well even if you do get a little muddled it's still you know you can still pick up and and it still works yeah absolutely and it's like even if you don't do IMT particularly well, it still actually gets results as well. Yeah. You know? yeah. And so the whole process now is sort of refining it so you can get the results even more sharper and more yeah. precise. Without giving sort of any sort of personal details away, what kind of people did you work with? What kind of things were they experiencing? And what kind of changes were you able to help them to achieve? Yeah. So um, mostly my clients are yeah. men. Um, they're either stuck or they've got a bad memory about something or having relationship issues. Uh, they just can't seem to move forward. Um, so, um, and, and 
these these guys, um, especially my two case study guys, had you know just had fantastic results. Um, so yeah, and and then gained confidence from those sessions, gained the the you know got the control back, got the authority back, feel good about themselves and happy about the future. And we were just discussing before as well when you see people because you saw them in person. Did you see them both in person? Yeah, both yeah. of them, yeah. So um, I suppose it's the same if you see them online, but the actual difference, what was it like seeing the two clients? Now, I just want people to understand that at the end of the session, we do not tell people to feel good. A lot of hypnosis and NLP sessions will finish on like, uh, take your feeling, make it feel good, put it out, be positive, which, you know, you will feel good for a day or so. But in IMT, we're only working on negative stuff and releasing the negative what was the difference between the first session and the second session, the people's body language and how they looked? So the first session, obviously, you'll get the client coming in, looking a bit, you know, mm. but it's not known, you know, it's all unhappy and stuff. Um, by the time they come back on the second session, they're standing tall, they're looking confident, they're smiling, they're happy to be there. They like, you know, mm. the weight has gone from their shoulders, and that's that's brilliant. Um, I, I, I don't always have that, you know, from my normal sessions um, mm. with, that I don't use IEMT. So uh, IEMT is now part of every single session that I work with. Yeah. Yeah. So how's it been in script? Because you do counselling and NLP. Uh, uh, before you did IEMT, would you say that you did mainly sort of counselling, speaking therapy, or was it mainly NLP? What was it that you usually did? Uh, a lot of well, holistic counselling mainly, you know, okay. was or, um, and then coaching um, with with NLP, um, the odd bit of hypnosis. OK. Um, but it was, I find that, I mean, those sessions are great, mm. but I'm having to listen to a lot of content. Um, and with IMT, there's something you don't have to, put your client through or, or you know go through yourself so um it makes such a difference yeah well, let me ask you then how do you think that imt is going to impact your business going forward in terms of the way you work with people and the amount of people you work with um i think it's just going to continue to get me uh, great res results for my clients mm. um, and, you know, even though you sort of think, right, if they're getting such great results so quickly, are they going to come back? Well, yeah. They... Oh, you've gone mute. Um... Oh, sorry. Am I on no, mute? No, sorry, it went, it went muted. That's all. Don't worry. Um, oh. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to continuing to work with IMT. And I think mm. that's one of the main the main things I'm, you know, therapies I'm going to be using that with the coaching and, you know, throw in some of my NLP stuff as well. Mm. Because it's great. But, um, but yeah, I'm, and I, I do know I have got referrals already from that. Whereas sometimes mm. you, know, you don't always get your referrals from the other stuff so quickly. I think mm. people are astonished at the, the rapid results. Yeah. And, uh, people often who they know are quite astonished, um, how quickly they've changed and not in a false way just in just in a better way in the way they then communicate with other people and yeah and that's why IMT does tend to get quite a lot of referrals because as you said you know when, when you're doing let's say just standard counseling sessions that might be like three months of sessions with people okay yeah. I could have a friend who I see quite regularly they could be in counselling. I might see them a few times. I might not know they're in counselling. There's no, there's nothing to, you know, there's no outward explicit changes. When you have a single session of IEMT, it's very likely there's going to be some very noticeable changes in people. Yeah. And also because people are quite excited by this. I find, Did you find that when people came back to the second session, they were like really eager and wanted to be there? Yeah, they want yeah. more. Yeah. yeah exactly and it's like with counseling especially if you're just going over 
uh, to talk over and over the same thing again, um, which we find quite regularly, which happens with like the blue light services, if they've been through some PTSD related case and yeah. every week they need to go and talk about what happened. They don't want to go. No, you don't um, have to relive that trauma. Yeah. I mean, I, I went through um, addiction many, many years ago. Right. But, been in recovery 10 years now and um i had to have counseling sessions and i got sick to damn death with going over the same thing over and over again and being asked the same questions yeah um not no offense to any counselors out no there. no no not at all but yeah but um i i i get that yeah and a lot do you know what, a lot of counselors and therapists who learn imt they become excited about working with clients again um, yep. They get excited because they've seen the results they can get people. And also it's something new for them to do as well. But also it means that they don't have to listen to as much of the negative experiences people have been through and still get them results. Because as a, you know, as a counselor or therapist, you've got to protect your own psyche. And yep. if every day, if you're listening to really horrible stuff, it's going to impact you um, with IMT there's very little content that you need in order to actually still get amazing results and in a much shorter time than traditional therapy as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of the best courses I've done actually, Matt, in a weekend. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Price. <laughs> so there's going to be some people who are like watching this on YouTube kind of sat on the fence thinking, also, because some people who have no experience in learning therapy, and I, I try to aim this at uh, anyone who can want to come and learn it. Basically, you can learn this to use it as its thing, you know, as its own thing, or like yourself, already you know uh, a qualified counsellor, you can integrate it with what you're with what you're doing. So, if yeah. somebody sat there on the fence thinking, "Do I really want to spend a weekend on Zoom?" With this crazy bald fella trying to get me to move my eyes what do you have to say to those people who are watching this who are sort of just on the fence absolutely go for it go for it even if it's something you just want to you know even if you're working in a supermarket you know come and do something like this because it really will change your life give you a different outlook um and if you're a therapist a counselor hypnotherapist coach whatever this is gold dust absolute gold dust yeah one last thing actually is something you just mentioned then obviously because when you do uh the, the the weekend training i i get you to prepare by bringing lots of things you want to work on yourself memories emotions identities that kind of stuff yeah what was it like and how's it been since working on your own issues and what are the changes been like for yourself personally yeah um actually i was thinking about this the other day uh because i found the the questions and what I'd written down and what I, you know, what I brought to the session and what mm. was working on. And um, oh, it's, it's just like questioning them. I don't feel any of those issues at all anymore. Mm. Um, I really don't. So um, that just proves it, you know, and none of those issues have returned. So mm. they, they weren't, you know, major issues, but yeah. they, they were holding me back, keeping me stuck confidence wasn't good enough and now ta -da! <laughs> so, <yes. laughs> thank you so much for your time today kate if people want to find you want to work with you and stuff like that do you have a website do you have social media what's the best way for people to find you yeah you can find me on facebook and it's kate may cool thank you very much for your time today and go and work with lots of people and change people's lives i will thank you matt fantastic thank you.